everyone, Cheryl here, Brad here. We are super excited about these super crucial leader retreats that we're going to be facilitating. Um, they are for leaders who are working in unprecedented times, which we all are. We're dealing with fast change. We're dealing with AI. We're dealing with changing worker mindsets. There are so many variables of what it means to be a leader today. And let's face it, the skills that leaders had in the past are not the skills needed to lead now and into the future. And that's what our retreats are all about. As leaders, it is imperative for us to understand how things have changed and, and how we need to change in order to meet that need and, and meet the needs of our of our teams. Because, you know, showing up the way you used to show up is just not, it's not good enough anymore. And, and we have to ask the tough questions. And we have to be able to, you know, align with peers who are going through the same things. And, and I think that the retreats will enable that to happen and, and that's what's making me very excited about it. Well, the people we're envisioning for this retreat is you are a leader of a team. You are responsible for your team's performance. Uh, that means you could be a founder, you could be a CEO, a CIO, a CTO, a CHRO. Uh, you could be an up and coming leader within the organization who's being groomed for succession. Uh, but really the, the key here is that you're leading teams and you're looking to improve business through your teams. You're looking to be more effective as a leader. You're looking to better understand your team's uh, psychology and why they do what they do. You're looking to leverage AI, not as a company initiative, but as a leadership tool that can assist you in being a better leader. And in addition to that, you're curious about where we're going with the human psychology of leadership around energy. Like why is energy more important now than ever before, specifically with a focus on well-being? Also up and coming leaders, people who are who yes. want to be prepared um, for those roles, they might just be almost there. Um, this would be an amazing opportunity opportunity for them as well. Leading with heart and dare I say even the word love, which yeah. is always controversial because it's like, wait, what do you mean? We're in business. Why do you mean love? But I'm yeah. talking about loving what we do, loving being a leader, yeah. loving seeing people grow, loving people thriving, loving the love of, of helping to grow something. Like th that's where we are. It's not enough yeah. to just show up anymore or to just go through the motions. There, there's a higher level that's of evolution that leaders be, are being called to. Um, let's just quickly give everybody a taste of the agenda. It's a three-day retreat. Um, we uh, the dates are here on the on the webpage. You'll see them there, and all the details of signing up. Uh, we are going to be covering. It's going to be separated into like separate days of different themes. But really, the first is about the self, the mindset, the behaviors. How do we show up as a leader? What is our brand as a leader? Uh, Brad will be leading that, and he's a brilliant. I've I've worked with Brad. He's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. His insights are, are absolutely outstanding. <laughs> and day two is all about the we. How do we lead in the way that we are talking about in this video? How do we lead from compassion and from emotional intelligence and from a place of understanding? Um, and, and also understanding that the worker attitudes have changed and those are not going anywhere. Workers' attitudes are here to stay. They are not going to go back to the way it was. They are looking at life first, work second. They're looking for leaders who are evolved and who can understand them and who will help them and understand well-being. So that's going to be a big portion of the we. And then on the third day, we're going to talk talk about AI, um, how do we as leaders, not, again, it's not institutionalizing AI into the company. It's how do we as leaders leverage it as a tool, as a skill to be better leaders. And we'll also be talking about a little bit weird and wonderful about energy, about energy being the key factor in well-being in stress management and how we show up with stamina as leaders. I think that you know all of the all of the teaching and and speaking you do about the future of work all of the work that i do with clients on positioning and engaging I think all of those things are the crucial building blocks of what leaders need moving forward and I think the ability to understand what all of that means as we move into these you know, we've talked about unprecedented times for the last 50 years, yes. um, but, but it, it, it really is true that, you know, showing up, and, and I think you said at the beginning, showing up the way we used to is not even an option no. anymore. And, and our ability to enable our teams, our ability to enable each other, 
and our uh, ability to enable ourselves to deliver on the ROIs that our organizations are demanding, but also the ROI that we want for our own careers, for our own lives, for our own position, our own personal brands. I, I think people are going to have a an amazing breakthrough, mind-blowing tools, ideas, and leveraging to their leadership. 